If you know me, you know I like to beat games by doing the least possible work. And today, that also includes making decisions. So I found a way to get someone else to make all of our decisions for us. That's where the random number generator comes in. We're going to make it choose all of our weapons and upgrades through the entire run and see what kind of chaos happens. Every time we generate a number, it'll go from the lowest on the left to the highest on the right. So let's see what weapon we're starting with. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, it looks like the harpoon it is. You know what, I feel like that first number generator is a bit boring. Why don't we swap to the spinning wheel? That's way more fun. Oh man, I really hope we get a number one. I want that rum. All right, let's spin and see. Oh, it's two. Okay, increased speed and range though. That's not too bad. I can already tell this is gonna get crazy. Hey, at least the harpoon wasn't a terrible one to start with. Oh, now we've got another opportunity. We're gonna use it again to pick which destination we go to. This time, it's a one. I could have used that last time. A weapon though, that's a great pick. Thank you, number generator. Now, there's been a little update for Sea of Survivors as well, and there's actually a map that kind of tells you where all of the islands are. But to keep this a bit more random, we're not going to use it. We're just going to go where this little arrow is telling us to go. All right, we've got our next upgrade. Spin in the wheel. It's a one. Uh, turning speed. Okay, I guess we'll take it. Get out of here, you little rowboats. Oh, man. If we miss some good items, I'm going to be so sad. <laughs> I can already tell we're going to get no good items this run. It is kind of fun on the map to check how far away you are. Like, we are really close. Okay. Oh, we found Ramstein's shipwreck, it looks like. Oh, no. I think we avoided damage there somehow. Uh, for our next upgrade, we'll spin the wheel again. Oh, two or three would be good here. Okay, we got a three. Uh, we'll take some armor. Let me put it over here. I'm going to try and cluster our upgrades as best as I can. If you cluster the same upgrades together, you can get higher bonuses. So we'll really try and do that. All right. Oh, God. All these little rowboats are out already. The good thing about the harpoons is they do do a little bit of a bounce. They can jump between boats a little bit. Pretty smooth sailing there. Pardon the pun. All right, we've got a number one, which is movement speed. That's not what I wanted. I'm just going to move some of the movement speed over here for now. We'll connect it later. I just want to make sure that I can cluster things up well. You do run out of room really quickly. Although it's probably going to be so hard to get the same upgrade multiple times. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm bothering. But we did get Ramstein's shipwreck. And actually, there's only two items here. I think I want a one so that we can get a ram on the ship's bow. That's like the best defensive weapon you can get in the game. Or there's the Ramstein Spyglass, which increases damage by a fraction of our speed. All right, come on. Be a one. Yes. Oh, that's so lucky. Okay, let's pop it up there. I always feel like I'm invincible as soon as we get that. Oh, we got another upgrade straight away. And it's a one, which is a ham. Oh, that's so good. There's certain items in the game that are feast items and they get stronger for every feast treasure that you get. There's basically one for every skill as well. So the more feast items you get, the stronger you'll be overall. I'm just going to pop that up in the corner here. I always feel so strong with this ram. Like you can just do this kind of business and it's so much fun. Oh, oh gosh. We nearly took some damage then. I need my message in a bottle, please. Get out of my way. Now we can choose which place we're going to. It looks like a two for treasure. This is also new in the game. They added some ports. Oh, and we got another upgrade. Uh, two. Okay, some armor. We'll take that for sure. Armor is always good. If I understand correctly, I think the ports are a place that you can end your run a bit earlier. But once you discover them, you can also start your runs from a different port as well, which could be interesting. I think there's a merchant ship down here. Yes, there is. Hey, come here. Give me your merchant chest. Perfect. All right, let's see what's in the merchant chest. There's three items. Spin in the wheel for the merchant chest. Okay, we got a number one. What is this? Intercepted letter. Raided merchant ships now drop double merchant chests. That was so lucky. I swear that's the best one you can get. <laughs> All right, I'm really happy with that. That's great. And instantly we got another upgrade, so we'll roll for that as well. Uh, increased fire rate. Definitely not a bad upgrade. I'll just pop it in the middle there for the moment, just to try and cluster things up again. Man, we're getting crazy upgrades here. I have to spin this wheel so many times. Increased damage. That's a good one. Good one for sure. The ram still doesn't help us with these exploder guys. We need to avoid them. Ooh, that was a close one. How far away from this island are we? Oh, we still got a fair bit to go. So far, I feel like we're not doing too badly. We've got two pretty good items, but there's still so much for this to go wrong. We've still got a lot of empty spaces on our ship, so there's a lot of room for useless items if that's what we roll. But we did get another upgrade. And this time, 
We got more armor. Okay, I'm not upset by that at all. Armor gives us a chance to deflect damage, basically, so... Oh, we've arrived at our island. A buried treasure. How? Get off the land. Those ones are sailing on the land. How is that fair? All right. Oh, no, the bigger boats are here now. Oh, my gosh. Just stuck in weave. Okay, surprisingly, we haven't lost any health yet. So we don't need to... Oh, we picked it up anyway. That wasn't what I was trying to do. All right, we've got our buried treasure. Oh, please be number two. Oh! Oh, no. We missed the projectile amount. Oh, we're going to have to take turning speed instead. That makes me so sad. But we'll do it. We'll play by the rules. The extra projectiles is like one of the better things you can get for sure. It's going to work my way around this island. There's a one billion boats here right now. We can get our message in a bottle. Okay, so now we can select our next map. Either a weapon, the port, or some treasure. What does the wheel say? The port! Okay, look, I'm not upset by that. That's a, a new place. A place I've never been, so we can see it together. Oh no, look at all those swimmers behind me. Every time. Strongest enemy in the game. Wouldn't mind a weapon upgrade. That would really get us in a bit more of a comfortable position, I think. We're already 15 minutes remaining. So when we hit zero, we're going to have a bad time with the boss if we don't have some good upgrades. Okay, for our next upgrade, though, we got a three. Another feast item so we can gain some armor. I'll tell you what, our armor is really getting up there. All right, these giant whales. Oh, my gosh. These swimmers don't even care. They're just pushing the whales around. Get out of here, jerk whales. I'll tell you what, our damage could be a lot higher. Hopefully, we get some good damage items or some new weapons. That would really be nice. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Did you see that dodging? Oh, there's more bombs. All right, I just want to get to my next island, actually. I've decided. Oh, these bombs should blow everyone up, though. Oh, my God. That was... Oh, that was such a good explosion. What a chain reaction. Okay, for the next one. Next upgrade, we've got a two. Oh, no. Gain 100 doubloons at the end of the run. So, that doesn't help us at all. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, that was probably the worst item we've got so far. Oh, this arrow just appeared out of nowhere. Oh, it's another merchant ship. Now that we've got that merchant letter item, if we destroy them, we can get two chests. Give me my chests. Thank you. Okay, first merchant chest. What are the items here? We can set enemies on fire. Two health per second. That could be really good for later on. Or the voodoo doll gain 50 preparation when the player is hit. All right, spinning wheel god. What do you decide? A one. Hey, lighting enemies on fire is not the worst thing at all. And now for our second chest, either double the damage of weapons that do under 50 damage, which is neither of our weapons, or double our max health, but disable healing. Oh, okay, that could be really bad if we get that one. Or gain move speed for each empty link slot. I don't really care about that one either. It's a one. Okay, look, we'll take it. It pretty much does nothing for us right now, but it could be worse. Okay, down to 12 minutes. Where is the time going? This ship can get out of here. It's trying to drop barrels on me. I do feel lucky that we got harpoons to start with, though. We could equally have had only barrels to drop, and that would have been so much harder. Okay, next upgrade. Spin in the wheel. Two. Oh, finally. We got another damage upgrade. Okay, I'll put it next to our other one so we cluster it up. And that is a great start. We're finally getting a little bit more damage on the board. We've got a long way to go, though, I think. And we've made it to the port. Raiding the hideout. It looks almost exactly the same as the port where we start the game. It might be the same port. They really don't want to pay those architects. They just have one plan for a port and they copy paste it all around the ocean. I mean, that's fair enough. Escape with your crew and end the run. Wait, do I, do I roll for this? What do you say, old spinny wheel? Two. Okay, no. If it said a one, I was going to continue anyway. Don't worry, but... <laughs> I just wanted to make sure the spinny wheel was on our side, you know? The big ship's here. Oh, man. I've got to stay out of his fire. We've got another upgrade. Uh, a one. Oh, no. Okay, more turning speed, it looks like. I want to cluster the increased range if we can get it rather than the turning speed. So I'll throw it up that end. Oh, this could be bad. If I get in his flames, that could be really bad. No, I don't want to escape with my crew. We activated the hideout again. All right, get out of here. Take him out, please. Okay, good. Henry One Leg. Welcome aboard, Henry. I would have preferred if you were like a magnet or a weapon. Okay, there's an arrow on my map, but I'm not exactly sure what it's for. If this is taking me back to the hideout, I'm not going to be impressed. Oh, another one's appeared. Ah, it's a merchant ship. Merchant ship I'll definitely take. 
We got two more merchant chests. Either increase the fire rate for each missing health. Two would be a peg leg. So that means if we've got one weapon change, we'll double its projectiles. And three is the Conqueror's Cross, which is like the best item in the game. It doubles the stats of all linked upgrades. Okay, come on, spinning wheel. Oh, it's a three. Now, actually, the trick is where are we going to put this thing? If we put it here, we can get double the damage from these and also a little bit more fire rate. So I think that's probably the best place we can put it for right now. All right, I'm so happy we got the Conqueror's Cross. And for the next chest, Cursewood would be really good on a number one. There's also Remstein Spyglass. Increase our damage by a fraction of our speed. Or the Carpenter's Tools, which is a little bit of a healing. Oh, one. Okay, we're really lucking out now. Two healing per second for the rest of the game. That's so good. All right, we need to get away from this hideout. My gosh. Give me that message in a bottle. Where are we off to now? Oh, the, another port. Did that actually just point me down to this port? <laughs> oh, God. I don't want to go here. We need another message in a bottle. Maybe if I just take over this port, it'll drop me another message in a bottle. What do you reckon? Ow, I just ran into that island. All right, I guess we'll just farm some ships while we take over this port for the one millionth time. Oh, we did get an upgrade. It is number two. Increased fire rate. Let's use our cross here so we can uh, get double the bonus of our increased fire rate. We finally captured this hideout again. And no, we don't want to escape with our crew for the 17th time. Now, please drop me another message in a bottle. Oh, there's one right there. It did actually work. Come on, wheel of the gods. Anything but a one. Oh, good. It's a two. We continue our journey. I never want to see this port again. Look at how much we've circled around this port. I love that it shows you where your journey's been. So I think we started here, right? In this hideout. That means we could actually spawn up here at this hideout next time. That's really cool. I like that a lot. Because I think the upgrades stay pretty much the same where they are in the map as of the current build. I still have no idea what these submarines do, to be honest. I don't even know if they're a threat. All right, our next chest. It's a number two, which is more damage. Yes. Okay, I'll take that. We'll add it onto our Conqueror's Cross and we'll continue our journey. We're getting so much more damage now. That's great. And there's a giant ship. Harpoons, shoot the giant ship, not the little boats. Right, I'm taking a bit of damage here. I need to be more careful. I need to let our healing do its work. One thing I'll say is we're pretty lucky we did get a lot of armor. We could definitely be in a worse situation right now. The wheel of the gods has blessed us. There are so many boats here now, my gosh. Oh, ouch, that one hurt us. Oh, not more. Ouch. Okay, I don't like that at all. This big guy has to go. He keeps getting up in my space. All right, for our next upgrade. Oh, please be a two. Oh, it's a one. <laughs> no, not again. We missed it again. Oh, I'll take the extra armor. Oh, I hate missing those extra projectiles. Looks like our island is right here, though. We're raiding the buried treasure. I just need to get away from all these explosive ships. We kind of got such a great defensive build. Could have been much worse. Just taking infinite damage, probably. Okay, we got the buried treasure. Oh, two would be nice. We got a three. Increased critical hit damage. Okay. Look, I'll hide that up the back here. Oh my gosh, look at everything. There's so much. Oh, how are there so many boats? Ow. Oh, that one exploded right on me. Okay, message in a bottle and a little heart as well. Where are we going now? Spinny wheel. One. Oh, a weapon. We need to get there as soon as possible. We've only got... We've got less than five minutes now. Okay, get me to this island. Actually, how far away is it? Oh, it looks like it's on the way. We got an upgrade. Uh, it's a two. Oh, it's another hundred doubloons at the end of the run. Okay, another very unhelpful upgrade. Hundred doubloons isn't even that much, to be honest. Although we really haven't made too much money at all this run. <laughs> all right, we've made it to the weapons cache. What just happened with that submarine? Did you see that? You just hit a bunny hop off the island. Okay, oh my gosh, look at all of them. No, no, no. Oh, our shield saved us then. Ouch, oh, we took damage then. We're gonna have to go through here. Oh, we took a bit of damage. We're still over half health though, but we've got to be careful. Especially all these explody ships. Don't touch the side. Shield saved us again. Oh my God, there's so many ships. Okay, another upgrade. I think another armor would be nice here. I got it. Oh, I got it. That was good. And we must have killed a merchant ship because there's a couple of chests down here. For the first one, what are we going to get here? Three. Okay, the peg leg. That actually doesn't help us. That can be a really good item, but it's a bit of a waste here, I think. 
All right, and for the next one, number one. Oh no, 2,000 doubloons at the end of the run. Why are we getting all of these money-making ones? Okay, we've got a weapons chest though. Come on, what do we got here? All right, a choice between the cannon back Tortuga, Blazebeard's Wake, which leaves a trail of flames behind us, or a cannon. Actually, I feel like I kind of want the cannon, to be honest. Come on, spinning god. We got the turtle. I haven't really used the Tortuga too much, so I'm keen to see what that's like. Oh my god, look at him. It's racing around everywhere. Oh my god, how do I get out of here? Okay, the ram saved us then. I'm really low on health. Our shields are saving us so much. Let's get this message in a bottle and we might just have to get out of here, to be honest. Okay, next map. Two. More treasure. All right, get me out of here. I don't like this at all. We might just have to sail away in a straight line and hope that nothing can get close. But we've, we've only got spot for two more upgrades. Please make it count. It's a two. Okay, increase critical hit damage. We've got one more upgrade after this. If it wasn't for these shields, we would be dead. This guy's going to cut me off as well. You know what? I'm going on the inside. And I'm going through all of these boats. Oh my gosh. We've got two minutes left. That's a big heart. Oh, I want that big heart. Yes. Okay, we got it. I don't think these little boats can actually even hurt me anymore. As long as I hit everything else with my ram, we should be okay. All right, a minute left. I think we'll be able to get one more level. We're so close. Every medium-sized ship, I'm going to ram. <laughs> I'm not even going to give you a chance. Oh, no, that one hit me. Oh, this is getting so close. I've got 99 health. Oh, and we got our last upgrade. Okay, spin the wheel. Be something good. Okay, it's movement speed. It might help us run away for the next 20 seconds. That's all we need to last for. And then I guess we have to fight the Kraken too. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. Five seconds left. And 100, less than 150 health. My gosh. Yes, okay. Oh, the Kraken's here. Okay, how are we going to go against the Kraken? Tortuga, do your stuff. At least I can bash his little tentacles away from me. That's one good thing. Oh, except those ones. I think they explode. Ugh. I'm seeing a health bar, but I, I, surely he's not half health already. I mean, we do have some damage, but I didn't know it was that good. Oh, <gasps> no. Did you see that? Our Tortuga just launched the Kraken into us. The betrayal. The absolute betrayal. Became overwhelmed by the treacherous hordes. Well, I don't think that's accurate. More like betrayed by close friend. Of course, there's one last spin we need to do before we go. Should you like this video and subscribe? Thanks, Spinny Wheel God. Love you. Mwah. Okay, bye.